What's up, people? How you doing, folks? Uh, I'm going to just give you a short update about what I've done here. Um, I put oil on the deck, okay? Uh, some kind of stuff that Olympic makes. It's a, it's a deck sealer, and uh, it's got a little bit of a stain to it. Here, look at the deck. As you can see, I put the pool up, but doesn't this look beautiful? Water just beads up on it whenever water gets on it now and it's it's just freaking awesome i bought some some good stuff it was 33 dollars a gallon <laughs> i'll tell you what 30 33 something a gallon if you you can see where there's a little bit of water that's dripped out of that water hose right there it just puddles up on there like that you know anyhow i got good pretty good protection for my deck for my new wood and uh i put my pool up i got me some umbrellas because uh, this update is about my roof that I was going to put here. Okay. Now, if you just sit here and look at what I see up in the sky when I'm sitting here, this is what I see. I get to, I get to look at this. And I get to watch the birds. And I get to watch the squirrels. And I get to see the clouds going by. And all of that... I do as I relax in my pool. Now I do have the umbrellas for the heat of the day to so I can have some shade, but I'm still able to see the mother nature that's around me and the, the, the beautiful creations that mother nature put here where I live. And I've decided not to put up a roof over my deck. It's, it's not worth it to, uh, to get rid of this beauty that I'm able to look at. Um, it's just really, really, really tranquil and relaxing for me. I sat out here today for what must have been two, three hours in the pool. No radio going, no nothing. Just watching the birds and looking up. And, you know, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I got to be stupid to freaking put a roof over this. You know, I would have to be an idiot to remove this view this i mean this scenery that i get to look at let me show you again i wouldn't be able to see none of this if i put this roof over this deck i'd have to get out close to the edge or you know i mean i would lose a lot i would really lose a lot of this view and i got to thinking about it it's a hell of a lot easier to clean the leaves off of this deck than it would be to clean the leaves off of that roof that I was going to put up. And another deciding factor in the whole uh, decision not to put the roof on is I had some maintenance done on the vehicle. But my Toyota 4Runner, I heard what sounded like a dry bearing. And uh, it just, the sound kept getting worse and worse as time went by. So I took it in and I had my mechanic look at it and I, I told him, I said, I think there's... I hear a dry bearing coming from underneath the timing belt. Uh, so please check it out. So anyway, he checked it out, and there were two, two. There was one. Uh, there was one. There were two bearings that had been, went bad on my truck. Uh, they hadn't went bad, but they were on the way. Um, timing belt idler pulley. That's right on the top, in between the two camshafts, and the fan pulley, fan bracket. My clutch fan has a dummy bracket that has a bearing in it anyway those two things and uh, a week later he had my truck for a week to get the parts and freaking get it fixed and it was 600 bucks so obviously now i don't have the money that i was going to put into the damn roof so uh but i'm really enjoying this new deck um i'll tell you what i've, I've sit out here and i've got me a uh you can see it back there behind me Right near that window, there is a hummingbird feeder. See it right there? So I sit here and I watch the hummingbirds. And uh, I got another bird feeder, which right now I've got it sitting right on the on the deck railing. I uh, haven't figured out how to keep the damn squirrels out of it yet. I usually hang it right up here. And wherever I hang it, the squirrels get to it. And So what I do is I bring it out when I come out, when I'm sitting here, and uh, then I bring it back inside when I am when I go back inside because 
they won't mess with it when I'm around because I scare them off. But I'm going to Happy's tomorrow, folks. I'm going to uh, go spend a night at his house. Um, his little girl's going to Birmingham for a sign language contest. They, they, something with the church, they do sign language, they do the Bible in sign language or something, and then they're having a sign language contest in Birmingham from people coming from all around. And his, his daughter and his wife are going to go there, and he's going to be home. And uh, I'm going to go up there and spend a night with him Friday night, and then Saturday morning we're going to get up and go uh, fishing down uh, the creek with a bunch of friends of his and they're going camping and canoeing and whatever and whatever but we're just going to go for the day and just drink and have a good time and I'm going to take y'all with us and uh, we're going to get some we're going to ask Happy some of those questions that y'all had and uh, yeah I still got all those questions I saved all your questions from the last video where I asked you to ask questions anyhow we're going to take care of that and uh, we're going to have a good weekend I want to tell everybody happy Mother's Day if you are a mother if you are a father that does not have a mother i mean if you're a single father happy mother's day because you're your kid's mother also um i was pretty much raised by my mother so uh i will be back sunday morning bright and early uh when i get up i'm leaving happy's and i'm coming home to uh where i live in niceville and i'm gonna be in town to celebrate my mama's mother's day so anyhow i'm gonna uh see my mother for mother's day and uh Spend time with her and show her how much I love her. And uh, I'm going to pick on her and be a brat. <laughs> that's what I do. That's what I love to do. I love to be a brat and pick on her. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Am I kidding or am I not kidding? Do you pick on your mom? Do you joke with your mom and pick on her? And do you just get under each other's fingernails or what? Put your comments down below. I must have built a deck right because it's holding up the weight of all that damn water. Yeah.